Our planned weekend away didn't start too well. We only just entered the motorway and it all came to a standstill. Then on local radio it explained that the motorway had been closed at the junction we were to get off. It took almost three hours to do a 25 mile journey. But we were soon off the motorway and queuing again. Before long we'd left the crowds and were on country roads to our stop in Worcestershire. That'll do. Oh, hello. We've just had tea. Um, Moroccan meatballs and um, Medi um, Medita? No. We've just had um, tea. We've had uh, Moroccan meatballs with, um, I think it's East Mediterranean grains, which is very nice. We're just going to have some cheese and then it's time for Othello. <laughs> Cheers. Not good at all. The idea that... is to get more of your <laughs> colour on the <laughs> Good morning first night at this uh, caravan and motorhome um, CL site emblem villa it's called um, we'll have a look around in a sec it's a CL we were due to go away uh, this last week uh, but for circumstances we didn't get away so we thought you'd have a, a weekend in Worcestershire we had fairly a good night last night. Uh, there were two other vans here that turned up after us. Uh, the site uh, has uh, just the one hard standing, um, but it doesn't seem to have uh, electricity on the hard standing pitch, which is a bit, uh, a bit strange. We've got bins. Recycling. Oh, there's the uh, the Olsen area that you've got. Obviously, needs a bit of money spending on that one. The flush didn't work, but there was water, so you could rinse out your cassette. Each pitch had its own 16 amp electricity hookup, and there were plenty of fresh water taps around the paddock. The site has its own duck pond and we uh, saw plenty of ducks on there while we were there. The site benefits from lovely views across the Worcestershire countryside. 
it does say in the side handbook that it's only a few minutes away from the motorway and you can actually hear quite a bit of traffic noise. Uh, the CL is based on a working farm and as with all farms there are outbuildings it just needs tidying up a little bit I think. Right, uh, we're leaving the site now and we're going to pop into the village of Els Croon to have a look at the village church before moving on to Upton on Seven. And uh, welcome to this trip. We've popped down to the riverside town of Upton on Severn. So come with us and enjoy the views. Bye for now.
For our second night of the weekend, we've moved up the road slightly from Upton to Malvern and to the Camping and Caravan Club site. Right, let's find the reception and get ourselves booked in. Okay, that's all booked in. For one night, it cost us £26.63 all in. Good morning, we've been for a walk around the site. Uh, we're gonna do a uh, site review a bit later on, but we thought we'd have a cup of tea and a biscuit. And these are the biscuits. Now look at this. Come, just come down here, let's have a look at this. The sun shines on the biscuit. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> They're rather posh. They're your birthday biscuits, those are. Birthday biscuits. And they are, ooh. Mm. Nice. Mm. The Blackmoor Club site has a total of 190 pitches, hard standing and grass pitches. Whilst we were there it was fairly quiet, even though it was a weekend. The site has two facilities blocks, although whilst we were there, one of them was closed due to a faulty hot water boiler. The showers were clean, but did need a little bit of updating. There are individual wash cubicles. Hello! Toilets are clean, uh, and toilet paper is obviously provided at club sites. Urinals were clean and there's hand washing facilities there's a large washing up area with uh, plenty of hot water and the chemical disposal point is in a room on its own again with uh, facilities to wash your hands there's quite a large children's play area with swings, slides and climbing frames the EHU units are 16 amp electricity in the main facilities block, uh, you do have uh, washing facilities with a washing machine, tumble dryer and sinks to do your washing. There's even an ironing board and iron to use. There's one part of this site that I really do think is very good. They have a large reception room which can be used for gatherings and parties. It's a table tennis table, and bats and balls are supplied, and there's even a pool table. The club have erected five safari type tents on site, which can be hired out separately. 
a freshwater and grey water waste disposal and there's a lovely dog walk that goes all around the perimeter of the site. For motorhomes there's a very good motorhome service point with a grey water drain and fresh water fill ups. I hope you enjoyed that little review of the camping and caravanning club Blackmore site. We're on our way now to Croom Park for a wander around this National Trust property. Croom Park had been owned by the Coventry family uh, since uh, 1592 but it wasn't until the 6th Earl of Coventry inherited the house that he developed the grounds and parklands with Capability Brown. The house was designed so that through every vista you enjoyed the views of the parkland. Whilst we were there, there was an excellent exhibition called Surf, Sweat and Tears, the life of Ted Deerhurst, who was the only son of the 11th Earl of Coventry. Ted was one of the founders of the British Surfing Association. Uh, back in 1977, he was the first British pro surfer. If you're ever in this part of Worcestershire, we would certainly recommend a visit to Croom Park. Thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and hit that notification bell for our next adventure don't forget we're on Facebook Instagram and you can read about our adventures on blogger thanks for watching bye for now